Earlier this week, callers reminiscing about show-and-tell tragedies at school got us thinking more about snakes. Turns out, by the way, there's a fella in our area who owns the world's ten deadliest snakes. And dozens more. Scott Peterson is the one and only reptile man. If you've ever driven Highway 2, you no doubt noticed his Serpentarium east of Monroe. We'll put up a link and directions to that on our website today, bobrivers.com. If you've got grade school age kids, there's a very good chance that the reptile man and his friends have appeared at a school assembly. We thought Scott would bring in a snake or two as a little bit of a novelty on our program. Instead, Scott shows up with what looks like a tractor trailer, a semi full of big, huge... He, he walks in with this little... <laughs> this <laughs> little box, yeah. With a little like Tupperware thing, and I thought, yeah. oh, the little snakes are in there. Okay. And then in come these huge, huge plastic uh, containers, and they have, they have padlocks on them. Padlocks, folks. Scott Reptile Man Peterson. Welcome to the Bob River Show. Hello. Uh, thank you. Thanks for having me. Uh, and by the way, these snakes no longer have their venom. Um, <laughs> oh, thank we, God. Yeah. I, I take their venom sacks out surgically the day we get them. So I don't any snakes that are still venomous. But they do still have fangs, hence the locks. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, they so, bite like crazy. They just can't kill you. <laughs> Nobody's wow. Die. So they're shooting blanks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now, do you have... That's why they're so angry, Bob. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, they don't know they're devenomized. They don't know. No, that was my. Uh, the, uh, the snakes don't feel bad about it. No, they don't. They have no idea. So, like getting your tonsils out. So they think they can kill you. Yeah, they still think they're capable. Right. But they're very shy creatures. Let's so. uh, let's back up a second. And uh, what was your first experience with a snake as a kid? Do you remember? Uh, my mom said I was. I think two and a half, and I walked out and brought back garter snakes. It's just. It's. I've always loved them. I have no idea why. Did you uh, just continue to play with snakes and, and bigger and more dangerous snakes? And at any time, did you get bit ever in your life with venom? I've never been envenomated, they call it. Um, but I've been bitten many times. And uh, But, you know, I the most painful animal bite I've ever had is a house cat bite, to be honest with you. So a cat got my hand, and, uh, you know, I... So do you like That's go, really ee, if a cat comes in the room? <laughs> no. <laughs> cat man. Oh, by the way, that laugh is Joe, who's in the other room with Casey. Joe, you're far enough away from the snakes? I'm way over here behind three panes of glass, Scott. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of snakes. Although, I will say, my daughter Emily loves you. You came to her school and you let her pet your alligator. And she still talks about the day you let her pet your alligator. So. Yeah, that was great. What um, is it? What is it? Is it an instinctive reflex that we're afraid of snakes because they are all carnivores and the biggest snakes, of course, maybe from where the uh, cradle of civilization, you know, from where man came from, would swallow a man whole. I mean, there are snakes that could, the anaconda, right? Uh, is, is that why we're afraid or is it an irrational fear? No, we are, from everything I read, we're born with two fears the fear of heights and some upside down vertigo thing. But the fear of snakes is something we learn. Uh, as small infants, we see people, adults, act afraid of things, and we learn most of our fears. That's not instinctive, then? Absolutely not. I mean, I can take a snake, put it in a little baby's face, and they smile and reach out to touch it. But by the time they're three or four, they've learned that, uh, you know, Ouch, oh, I'm, I'm afraid. Yeah. Well, now, I had a copperhead <laughs> snake in my crib, Scott, and that's why I think I'm afraid of snakes. See, that's not it? Well, I, you know, the snake wasn't trying to attack you. Maybe the warmth of your body or uh, the fact it was looking for a place to hide. That gets and, food all over your face. You know. <laughs> and well, I would question the fact there's even a copperhead because a lot of snakes look alike and people really don't know the difference between the venomous species and, yeah. and, and the non -venomous. I, I think what, what Scott is hinting at here is that as when you're three years old and your parents freak out and run screaming around that's the house, right. that can traumatize you. Yes, is that what you're saying? Right. And we may not ex remember that experience, but the fear is still deep in our... Or psyche. Parents there. can totally mess us up. That may be it. Yeah. I mean, kids love rattles. <laughs> have rattles. Come on, right? It's we look natural... at primate studies. Uh, primates like chimps and and gorillas born in zoos who've never been in the wild, never seen a snake. If you throw a rubber snake in their cage, they're not afraid. But you take chimps and, and gorillas that are taken from the wild and you throw a, a 
rubber snake, and they're terrified oh. of snakes. So. The, uh, the snake man, and, uh, or reptile, reptile man, the uh, place is called the Serpentarium. It's east of Monroe on Route 2. Uh, Scott, thanks very much for coming to the show. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get those lockboxes out of here. <laughs> 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 oh, those snakes were amazing, weren't they? <laughs> All right, they sounded really <laughs> scary. Get off that easy. <laughs> You're gonna open those boxes, aren't you? Oh, yeah. All right, let's uh, let's start with a little one, shall we? <laughs> well, nobody wants to see snakes, but I did bring one lizard, and the only venomous lizards in the world are from Arizona and Mexico, and that's the Gila monster and its cousin. And so I brought a Gila monster with me here. For those of you who cannot see it on your screens. A video of the, all of these snakes and reptiles will be posted at bobrivers.com later today. And there will be some great photos, so you can check all of them out. Here's your big scary monster. Wow! That's the Gila monster? Ooh, That's the man. venomous Gila monster. Venomous Gila monster. <laughs> nice. This is Sheila the Gila. And, uh, I know she's a girl because boys have big heads. Now, is this like, because I have friends with like cockatoos and stuff. Is this like they all know you, but if you handed it to me, it would go, arr, 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 arr. Well, reptiles can recognize their keepers. Okay. And uh, being captive bred and raised, she's, uh, she knows people aren't going to hurt them. I'm still very careful when I handle her. This really is not a pet. But, it's uh, not something you can pass around. Yeah, but just, you know, a foot and a half long lizards, bright pink and black. It's a beautiful animal, uh, yeah. very shy. Yeah. They won't attack you. Just because an animal is venomous doesn't make them aggressive or mean. It just means you don't pick them up. It's, you know, like so. you're doing, <laughs> over and over. Wake him up early, drive him around job. town in a bumpy van, you know. <laughs> Stuff you can take him off. It's uh, a beautiful little animal. It's gorgeous. I, I, actually, thing. seeing it, I want to hold it. Yeah, she, yeah. The problem, though, is it's really not a pet because they are not entirely predictable. They can snap if they get frightened. So, you know, you wouldn't want to keep one of these as a pet. They're bite, they have the most painful reptile bite on earth. Oh, and really? Their, their venom doesn't kill you, but I, I hear it's excruciating and... Uh, I've, I've talked to friends who are bitten, and it's not a fun thing. Okay, so back just to don't you. Pick bye, them bye. Up. bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Bye <laughs> bye. Very shy. Anyway. All right. That's awesome. <laughs> Definitely not what a monster. Would you say about a purse? said it makes a great <laughs> purse. It would look awesome. Yeah, it would, sure, yeah. <laughs> and Samson, I joke. All right. <laughs> a little sensitive. All okay. Right. <laughs> oh, double <laughs> lock, folks. There's a double lock on that case. Okay. Reptileman.com, if you want to find out more, by the way. Are there pictures of some of these on your website? Absolutely, yes. Okay. And, we'll uh, link to that, too. Yeah. How long has the Serpentarium been open? Oh, 10 years, I think. 10 years? Yeah, and nice. I've been doing these programs for 20 years. So, phenomenal. How long have you guys been on the air? I've, I've been, heard you guys forever. Uh, uh, <laughs> yes, the Pleistocene era, I believe. Yeah, it we, was. <laughs> <laughs> I've been you know, at that time, reptiles years. ruled the earth. Uh, <laughs> and, the, and all the music was called Dinosaur Rock back then. Mm-hmm.